If you want to see some easy but effective modifications to your LK35 pack, stay tuned. The first set of modifications were to add a grab handle, modify the strap so you could attach other equipment using Molly, Alice or C-clips. The next big modification was to put some straps on the side, again so I could use Molly, Alice or C-clips to attach extra equipment. It also allowed me to attach the issue ammunition packs to the side as well and make a replacement stretcher for the back. The replacement stretcher proved to be superfluous so I've taken it off and I've got it as a spare. My next modification was rather a simple one. I attached a rather large patch of velcro to the lid. This allows me to put on morale patches if I want to but more importantly reflective strips for when I'm using it in the dark. Although the LK35 is really comfortable to carry with these wide straps, it does bounce around when you're moving. So I thought I would introduce some sort of waist belt to stabilise the whole thing. My first thought was to use a strap from an existing rucksack. However, it was too short to be attached easily to the rucksack and fit round my fat waist. So another idea had to be thought up. The next option was to use a long, thin strap with a buckle. The thin strap worked, but a thicker, more comfortable one would be better. By using the molly belt as a hip pad, I can take the weight on my hips when I want to take the weight off my shoulders. Does it work? Yes, it's a lot more stable. Everyone overloads their rucksack. In order to carry less gear, you either buy a smaller backpack or you make your existing backpack smaller. It's easy enough to do this with a strap on the LK35. The spare strap for reducing the volume of the rucksack sits quite nicely on the back of the frame. The straps on my LK35 are old and stiff. I've decided to replace one of them as a test with one of the newer nylon straps. Although thinner, they're the same width. To monitor any unwanted movement, I've taped down the spare strap and also the bottom attachment. If the bottom attachment moves, then the tape will be distorted. Just in case the system fails, I'm keeping the old straps in readiness. There's been no movement on the bottom strap where it attaches to the frame. Both the straps do their job. The old one, however, needs two hands to make it work effectively. The new one is dead easy to use. So I'm going to replace this strap with this one, cut to length and draw cords added. Thank you for watching, commenting and hopefully subscribing. Thank you to all my subscribers, old and new. So get out there, get training. You know it makes sense, it will serve you well.